and welcome to this series tutorial video. In this video, we are going to learn how to embed YouTube videos into our application. So let's get started by creating a new Xcode project. A single view application is fine, and let's call this YouTube demo. I'm going to create it in my desktop because it's fine. And let's head into our main storyboard where we will drag in a web view. So web view allows us to display web content into our application. So what I'm going to do is to keep the width and height constant so that regardless of any screen size, the width and height stays the same. Then I need to tell the interface builder where will we exactly position this web view. Click on these two rectangles and we're going to align it horizontally and vertically in the container. And there we have it. So now let's connect this web view into our code. Click on this web view, right click and drag to the vehicle.swift and let's call this video view. Let's head into our viewcontroller.swift and before we can actually play videos in the video view, we first need to specify that the video view allows inline media playback. We need to set this first to true in order to allow media playback. Next, I'm going to go video view dot load HTML string. So the base URL is new. And for the string, right here I have a Safari open. Let me just show. And right here I have a YouTube video. And as you can see, I will copy this link down in the section down below if you just wish to follow me. So basically, just search Skull Candy, Minecraft, and go to any of his videos. Then once you are there in the video, click on share, embed, and click copy, command C to copy this iframe, and go to the string and copy to paste the iframe into this argument over here. So first, before the iframe, we're going to add a quotation mark, and at the end of the iframe, we're going to add another quotation mark. So we want to tell Swift to ignore all of these quotation marks. So what we're going to do is add a slash in front of the quotation mark. So let's add a slash, 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 slash. So the slash allows us to escape the quote, the quotation mark, which essentially just means to ignore the quotation mark. So let's try to build and run it and see how it goes. So when we appear our video, the video doesn't appear right, it appears too big. So let's adjust this by going to the width. I'm going to erase 560 only. And using string and appellation, I'm going to insert the video view frame dot width into this width attribute such that it fits properly on the video view. And we're going to do the same thing for the height. Using string interpolation, we're going to insert the video view dot frame dot height. And let's see whether now it displays correctly in the video view. Okay, so now if we were to play our video, as you can see, it automatically appear in full screen, which is not what I want. I want the user to be able to play it just in the video view itself without going full screen. So to do that, in the source attribute, after the link, you want to add a question mark, then you want to add an ampersand, then you want to type place in line equals 1. So essentially here we are talking about binary, 1 is equal to true, and 0 is false. So by setting this place in line to 1, we are essentially telling the iframe that we allow the video to be played in the video view itself. So let's build and run it and see what the final result is. So now it appears correctly. And now if I were to play, as you can see, it's playing in line and we can also expand full screen or the default mode, which is pretty cool. And iframe has this, uh, inbuilt feature where 
it automatically works when you rotate left or right, which pretty gives you a kind of solid experience. And I can enjoy your favorite videos in the application that you just made. So congratulations for making it to the end of this video tutorial. Like I said, you have learned how to embed a YouTube video or iframe more specifically into your application. So well done on that. And if you have any suggestions, comments, or just want to say hi to me, just comment down in the section down below. Until then, see you next time. This is Ben. Peace out.